The world has evolved and we've spent a long time uncovering secrets from our distant past. Despite all the years that have passed, some findings are still deeply confusing. From odd artifacts to puzzling structures, these 20 amazing discoveries don't seem like they should be part of ancient history. Join us on a journey that will make you rethink everything you thought you knew about the ancient world. Number 20. Da Vinci's Pioneering Robot Design Leonardo da Vinci's fascination with automation and robotics transcended the technological limitations of his time, as evidenced by his design sketches dating back to 1495, rediscovered in the 1950s. These remarkable notes offer glimpses into da Vinci's visionary mind and his pioneering efforts in the field of robotics. Despite lacking access to modern technology, da Vinci's designs for a humanoid night robot showcase his ingenuity and creativity. This mechanical marvel, capable of autonomous movement, stood as a testament to his unparalleled attention to detail and anatomical precision. Within the pages of his sketchbooks, da Vinci meticulously outlined the intricate mechanisms and movements of his robotic creation. The humanoid knight, designed to sit, stand, and perform basic actions, represented a remarkable fusion of artistry and engineering. While da Vinci's robot may have remained a conceptual prototype, its existence serves as a testament to his groundbreaking contributions to the field of automation. Centuries ahead of his time, da Vinci's visionary designs continue to inspire and influence modern robotics research, underscoring the enduring legacy of his genius. Number 19. William Bourne's Submarine Although the formal invention of the submarine is commonly dated to 1970, its historical roots go back almost 300 years. The trip through submarine history culminates in a unique prototype, allegedly designed by an Englishman named William Bourne. Bourne's imaginative concept, developed centuries before its time, provides an intriguing peek into the roots of undersea exploration. In 1578, William Bourne created what is thought to be the first known design for a submarine. This trailblazing blueprint lays the groundwork for future advances in submersible technology, marking a watershed moment in the quest for underwater navigation. However, the historical record is unclear about whether Bourne's idea was ever completed or if it worked as intended. Despite the uncertainties, Bourne's creative blueprint remains the earliest known concept of a submarine, inspiring innovators and explorers for generations. Bourne's design is a unique combination of creativity and imagination, demonstrating his pioneering spirit and ability. Despite being created long before the technological developments that would make underwater navigation possible, Bourne's visionary proposal laid the framework for future generations of submarine inventors and engineers. His audacious vision pushed the constraints of his time, motivating future generations to push the limits of exploration and discovery. The history of William Bourne's submarine prototype lives on as a monument to human curiosity and inventiveness. Despite the uncertainty surrounding its construction and functionality, Bourne's imaginative design ushered in a new era of underwater research, paving the way for the contemporary submarine. Number 18. Main Penny, Norse Artifact in America. The Main Penny, an ancient relic discovered in 1957, has inspired fascination and debate ever since. This artifact, believed to date back to the age of King Olaf Kyr, better known as Olaf the Peaceful, who governed Norway almost a millennium ago, provides intriguing insights regarding Norse exploration and trade networks. The main penny was once mistaken for a British coin due to its appearance, but archaeologists' painstaking study showed its genuine origin. Contrary to popular belief, the currency is of Norse origin, revealing light on the scope of Viking expeditions in the New World. The discovery of the silver coin provides a vital insight into Viking excursions beyond their Scandinavian homelands. It implies a vast network of trade and exploration, defying earlier perceptions of Norse interaction with distant regions. The main penny is a tangible link to a bygone period, a monument to the Vikings' daring spirit, and their long-lasting imprint in historical records. Number 17. Tutankhamun's Meteorite Dagger Returning to ancient Egypt, we discover the fascinating tomb of Tutankhamun, a pharaoh who ruled from 1332 to 1323 BC. Tutankhamun's tomb, discovered in 1922, yielded a plethora of goods, including an unusual dagger that continues to pique investigators' interest today. This dagger, made from an iron meteorite, surprised experts with its unusual composition, which included significant levels of cobalt and nickel. Scholars were perplexed by its unusual origins, as forging iron artifacts was extremely rare during Tutankhamun's reign. The Iron Age lay decades ahead, raising uncertainties regarding the dagger's origins and the source of its materials. 
the appearance of this heavenly metal sparked conjecture and debates about its importance. Some speculated that the dagger was a gift from extraterrestrial aliens to the revered pharaoh of ancient Egypt, adding another layer of mystery to Tutankhamun's legacy. Decades have passed since the discovery of this astonishing artifact, but its secrets continue to captivate scientists and historians alike. Researchers are still working to solve the many riddles surrounding this valuable relic through painstaking examination and scientific investigation. The meteorite dagger of King Tutankhamun is a tantalizing reminder of humanity's ongoing quest for understanding and discovery. Number 16. Clarksdorp Spheres – Mysterious Artifacts The Clarksdorp Spheres, discovered in South Africa's Odestal region in the early 20th century, are still a mystery that has captivated scientists and enthusiasts for decades. These metallic spheres, with their amazingly smooth surfaces and detailed parallel grooves, call into question traditional explanations for natural rock formation due to their near-perfect symmetry and balance. These objects, which range in diameter from a few centimeters to several inches and date back over three billion years, demonstrate a remarkable precision that defies standard geological processes. While some propose alternative beliefs that the spheres originated with humans or even mainstream scientific opinion, relates their formation to natural geological occurrences, specifically mineral precipitation over long periods. The concentric layers seen in some spheres are thought to be caused by mineral accretion around a central nucleus, which progressively forms the distinctive spherical shape. Despite scientific explanations, the Clarksdorp spheres continue to elicit debate and controversy, with critics claiming that traditional geological processes cannot adequately account for their unique properties. Questions about the sphere's age and the region's geological history continue to drive continuing discussions within scientific circles and alternative communities. Number 15. Egyptian Glider – Ancient Flight Technologies The Wright brothers' momentous flight in 1903 was a watershed moment in human history, ushering in a period of extraordinary aviation innovation. However, recent historical findings have sparked conjecture that ancient civilizations, such as the Egyptians, may have mastered the skies long before modern airplanes. Archaeologists were intrigued when they discovered an old relic resembling a bird, created by the talented hands of ancient Egyptian artisans. Despite being made of wood, this relic had exceptional aerodynamic qualities, prompting scholars to question its purpose and significance. The elaborately built copy, when scaled up, revealed the ability to fly, generating discussion among academics regarding its true nature. Was this ancient item only a hypothetical portrayal of an aircraft? or could it have been a working prototype capable of flying through the skies? The cryptic nature of this discovery has scientists searching for solutions as they try to unlock the mysteries of ancient Egyptian brilliance. The idea that ancient civilizations had advanced knowledge of flight calls into question standard historical and technological assumptions. If the ancient Egyptians really created flying machines, it would alter our impression of their talents and accomplishments. Skeptics say that such statements are hypothetical and lacking in clear evidence. Nonetheless, the discovery of the ancient Egyptian glider raises fascinating concerns about the scope of ancient technological prowess and the prospect of forgotten innovations waiting to be uncovered. As experts continue to explore this fascinating artifact, they expect to gain fresh insights into the ancient Egyptians' grasp of flying as well as their incredible engineering and design achievements. Number 14. Roman Sundial Rediscovered In January 2017, a century-old enigma may have been solved, although experts remain uncertain. The plot revolves around an odd Roman artifact discovered in the ruins of Villa dei Papiri during the 70s, nestled in the aftermath of Mount Vesuvius's devastating eruption in 79 AD. This cryptic object, resembling a pork chop, perplexed scholars until the advent of 3D printing enabled closer examination, hinting at its potential use. This ancient gadget, thought to be a pocket sundial, would have hung on a string, casting shadows on its gridded face to tell the time. Its vertical lines represented the month, while horizontal lines represented the hour, providing a basic method for measuring remaining daylight. Despite this revelation, doubts remain about the lack of such instruments during Roman times, fueling debate about their scarcity. Number 13. Antikythera Mechanism – Ancient Astronomical Computer The Antikythera Mechanism is a testimony to ancient inventiveness, a relic that transcends the constraints of its period and challenges our understanding of the past. This amazing artifact, discovered in the early 20th century among the ruins of a sunken ship off the coast of the Greek island of Antikythera, has captivated the imaginations of scholars and scientists alike. The Antikythera mechanism, which dates back to the 2nd century BC, is often regarded as the world's first analog computer. The complicated combination of gears, cogs, 
and brass inscriptions creates a complex instrument for tracking astronomical occurrences. This ancient marvel defies expectations from its day, stretching the limits of ancient technological prowess. The mechanism, which functioned as a celestial calculator, was a complex astronomical apparatus that could predict solar and lunar eclipses, planetary placements, and other cosmic phenomena. Its bronze plates, covered with inscriptions, contained the key to deciphering the mysteries of the universe. Beyond mechanics, the Antikythera mechanism opened a window into comprehending and predicting astronomical events. While the exact purpose of the Antikythera mechanism is unknown, it is usually assumed to have served both calendrical and astronomical purposes. Aside from its practical navigational functions, this sophisticated instrument probably affected the worldview of its ancient users. It not only offered critical information for tracking time and celestial occurrences, but also developed a more profound symbolic link to the cosmic order. Number 12. Delhi's Iron Pillar, Emblem of Durability. The Iron Pillar of Delhi, located in the center of Delhi's Kut Mosque, has stood the test of time for more than 1,600 years. This old masterpiece, tucked within an empty square, may appear to be an average pillar at first glance, yet its unusual characteristics distinguish it. The Iron Pillar, made mostly of iron, has an extraordinary resistance to rust, which perplexes both spectators and scientists. Despite decades of exposure to the elements, rain, sun, and harsh weather, the pillar has remained amazingly intact. Its surface remains pristine, giving witness to the passage of time with unshakable resilience. The iron pillar's everlasting mystery stems from its amazing longevity. While iron is prone to corrode over time, this monument defies the odds, serving as a tribute to old craftsmanship and metallurgical expertise. Its ability to resist the vagaries of nature for millennia piques the mind, provoking curiosity about the mysteries hidden within its iron core. As visitors marvel at its continuing presence, the Iron Pillar of Delhi continues to entice curiosity, inviting inquiry and contemplation of the mysteries hidden within its ancient shape. Number 11. Baghdad Battery, Ancient Galvanic Cell the Baghdad Battery is a trio of artifacts unearthed in Iraq in 1936. For decades, archaeologists and historians have puzzled over these relics, which date back to roughly 150 BC and provide tantalizing glimpses into ancient civilizations' scientific prowess. The Baghdad Battery, which consists of a ceramic pot, a copper tube, and an iron rod, is an unusual assembly with no discernible purpose or function. Nonetheless, Experts have theorized endlessly about its potential applications and relevance. According to one popular explanation, the Baghdad battery may have been a primitive sort of galvanic cell, an early battery capable of producing electrical currents through chemical processes. According to this concept, the ceramic pot would have served as an insulator, with the copper tube and iron rod acting as electrodes to facilitate electron passage. Proponents of this notion suggest that the Baghdad battery was used for electroplating which is the process of depositing a thin layer of metal onto a surface via electrolysis. Skeptics argue that the lack of evidence for electroplated goods from the same period calls this view into question. Regardless of its purpose, the Baghdad battery exemplifies ancient civilization's creativity and innovation. Its existence challenges our assumptions about ancient society's technological capabilities, posing intriguing issues about the breadth of their scientific knowledge and achievements. Number 10. Nebra Sky Disk, Ancient Astronomical Artifact the Nebra Sky Disk, discovered in 1999 on Middleburg Hill near Nebra, Germany, is a fascinating ancient riddle. Crafted between 1800 and 1600 BC, this detailed artifact is regarded as the oldest astronomical map in history, providing an intriguing peek into ancient celestial navigation. The magnificent design of the Nebra Sky Disk captures the imagination, with archaeologists proposing that it be used as an advanced astronomical clock. Its usefulness went beyond simply maintaining time as it helped to align the lunar and solar calendars. The disk's exact alignment with celestial bodies aided in the estimation of lunar months, ensuring its synchronization with the changing seasons. This ancient marvel most certainly played a key part in ancient society's agricultural and religious routines, directing crop cultivation and the timing of important ceremonies. Its elaborate marks and celestial symbols indicate a comprehensive awareness of astronomical events, demonstrating the intellectual and technical prowess of its makers. While the particular rituals and ceremonies linked with the Nebra Sky Disk remain unknown, its discovery provides significant insights into ancient cultures' interaction with the universe. As scholars uncover its secrets, the disk continues to inspire awe and curiosity, inspiring reflection on humanity's ongoing effort to understand the mysteries of the universe. The Nebra Sky Disk is a monument to ancient civilization's creativity and curiosity, 
reminding us of humanity's deep relationship with the celestial realm. Its finding marks a watershed point in our understanding of archaic societies and their incredible achievements in astronomy and navigation. Number 9. Bush Barrow's Golden Dagger, Exquisite Craftsmanship Bush Barrow, a burial mound near Stonehenge, offered a remarkable archaeological find, a golden-crusted knife. Archaeologists discovered this antique treasure, which is meticulously adorned with almost 140,000 gold studs. The discovery of this mysterious artifact has sparked a rush of queries, with one resounding question standing out. How could ancient artists achieve such perfect craftsmanship? The sheer complexity of the dagger's design implies a level of precision that goes beyond common understanding. Many believe that the precise placement of the gold studs could only have been accomplished with advanced nanotechnology, a feat that appears to be beyond the capability of ancient civilizations. However, the discovery calls into question long-held assumptions about ancient wisdom and technological capabilities. Some scholars present an unusual theory. The dagger could have been created by people whose excellent eyesight was unaffected by age, probably children. This argument emphasizes the extraordinary accuracy required to create such a masterpiece, implying that juvenile dexterity and sharpness may have played a critical role in its creation. Bush Barrow's golden-crusted dagger is a tribute to ancient artists' innovation and ability, who overcame the restrictions of their time. Its exquisite design not only captivates the mind, but also invites contemplation of the depths of old knowledge and the mysteries that lie hidden inside the pages of history. As scientists continue to uncover the secrets hidden within this amazing treasure, it serves as a poignant reminder of humanity's ongoing search for greatness and invention throughout history. Number 8. Notre Dame's Mysterious Sarcophagi Notre Dame de Paris, also known as Our Lady of Paris, is an iconic emblem of history and resilience. However, its tale took a tragic turn on April 15, 2019, when a devastating fire destroyed its roof, leaving the world in sadness for its irreparable loss. However, amid the devastation and restoration attempts, a startling find was made beneath the cathedral's nave, two enigmatic sarcophagi shrouded in centuries of mystery. Months of careful research revealed the identities of those entombed in these mysterious coffins. The first sarcophagus contained the bones of Antoine Delaporte, a high priest with an aristocratic pedigree, as evidenced by the lead encasement encircling his ashes. Clues to his identity came from the skeletal remains, exhibiting characteristics of a sedentary lifestyle tinged with gout symptoms, implying a background of indulgence and excess. In contrast, the second sarcophagus contained the bones of an unknown individual, lovingly known as Le Cavalier, due to evidence indicating his engagement in horse sports, encased in lead like his high priest counterpart. Le Cavalier alludes to a life connected with the nobility of horseback riding, while remaining veiled in mystery about his true identity and time period. As academics dig deeper into the echoes of these people's lives, the mystery surrounding their identities and historical significance grows. Number 7. Akambaro Figurines – Controversial Findings Waldemar Yulesrud's controversial archaeological discovery of the Akambaro figures in Akambaro, Guanajuato, Mexico, sparked intrigue and debate ever since. This collection contains around 33,000 miniature clay figurines, each offering a glimpse into a story that challenges traditional historical and archaeological assumptions. Yulesrud, a German immigrant and amateur archaeologist, claimed to have discovered this incredible treasure while exploring the region. Some sculptures bear a striking similarity to dinosaurs, which are thought to have gone extinct millions of years before human civilization. This apparent anachronism raises concerns regarding the recognized timing of human-dinosaur connections and evolution. The figurines depict a wide range of forms, including humans, animals, and magical characters. Notably, Dinosaur depictions in the collection violate mainstream scientific understanding, eliciting debate about alternative histories of human-dinosaur coexistence. However, many people doubt the veracity of the Akambaro findings. Critics point to the lack of rigorous archaeological excavation and documentation by professional experts, casting doubt on the circumstances surrounding their discovery. Without careful scientific inspection, questions remain concerning the legitimacy of the context from which these figures are said to have originated. Number 6. Ashurbani Paul's Library, a Mesopotamian treasure. In the mid-19th century, Austin Henry Layard discovered an incredible treasure, a massive collection of over 25,000 clay tablet fragments in the ancient Mesopotamian city of Nineveh, now part of modern-day Iraq. This astonishing discovery, known as the Library of Ashurbani Paul, provides insight into ancient Assyria's intellectual riches and the scholastic interests of its strong monarch, King Ashurbani Paul. Beyond his military triumphs, 
Ashurbanipal had a strong interest in literature. He built an empire-wide network of scribes committed to amassing literary treasures, culminating in the construction of one of the most comprehensive libraries in antiquity. The library featured a diverse collection of manuscripts, including royal inscriptions and chronicles, religious literature, contracts, and medical treatises. The library housed literary masterpieces such as the Epic of Gilgamesh, the Enuma Elish creation account, and the Adapa myth. These books not only illuminated a serious cultural and religious ideas, but also shed light on the larger mythology and literature that formed ancient Mesopotamian culture. Despite confronting destruction during the siege of Nineveh in 612 BC, the library of Ashurbanipal survived. The high heat from the flames accidentally baked the clay tablets, preserving them for millennia to come. In a strange twist of fate, the inferno that consumed Nineveh became the unlikely protector of this magnificent collection, shielding it from the ravages of time and the turbulence of invasion. Beyond its function as a storehouse of historical writings, the library of Ashurbanipal serves as a gateway to comprehending the many dimensions of Assyrian society. It provides priceless insights into governance, religious practices, cultural traditions, and the intellectual landscape of a civilization that thrived thousands of years ago. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. One of the most captivating discoveries that seem out of this world are the Libyan Desert Glass, LDG artifacts found in the Sahara Desert. These translucent yellow-green gems have puzzled scientists for centuries due to their mysterious origins and unusual properties. LDG is believed to have formed around 29 million years ago when a meteorite impact melted sand and silicate sediment in the Libyan Desert, creating a vast field of glassy material. This glass is scattered across hundreds of square kilometers, but it's the small faceted pieces that resemble jewels that have captured the most attention. What makes LDG seem otherworldly is its unique composition and the circumstances of its formation. The intense heat and pressure generated by the meteorite impact fused the silica-rich sand into glass. But what's baffling is the absence of any associated crater of sufficient size to account for the amount of glass found. In addition to its enigmatic origins, LDG also exhibits unusual characteristics such as its high purity and lack of internal bubbles or impurities commonly found in natural glass. These properties have led some researchers to propose that LDG may have extraterrestrial origins, suggesting it could be a form of tektite created by the extreme heat and pressure of a meteorite impact. While the true origin of Libyan desert glass remains a subject of scientific debate, its otherworldly appearance and mysterious properties continue to capture the imagination of scientists and enthusiasts alike. Could there be some other explanation for these? Let us know in the comments below. Number 5. Hero of Alexandria's First Vending Machine Vending machines have grown omnipresent in our modern society, especially in Japan, where they appear on every street corner. Few people realize that vending machines were invented in the first century by a man named Hero of Alexandria. Hero's idea, while primitive by today's standards, heralded the beginning of automated dispensing. His vending machine, which was installed in a temple, fulfilled a sacred purpose. It distributed holy water. While it lacked the complex machinery and digital interfaces of modern vending machines, its core premise remained unchanged. Operating Hero's vending machine was a simple operation. Users would insert a penny into the mechanism to discharge a predetermined amount of holy water. Hero's idea, albeit far simpler than modern vending machines, exhibited a pioneering understanding of automated transactions and mechanical engineering. Hero's vending machine is innovative not only in its operation but also in its cultural importance. Hero's invention simplified a religious ceremony by automating the distribution of holy water, making it more accessible to worshippers and aiding their spiritual rituals. While Hero's vending machine may appear unsophisticated when compared to today's high-tech rivals, its historical significance cannot be underestimated. It marks a watershed milestone in the growth of automation and exemplifies humanity's ongoing search for convenience and efficiency. Number 4. Ulfbert Swords, Viking Blades of Excellence The Viking Ulfbert Swords, a magnificent collection of blades dating back to the 9th century, have captivated archaeologists and historians alike. With roughly 170 pieces discovered throughout Northern Europe, each carrying the characteristic inscription Ulfbert plus T, these swords provide insight into the Viking Age's combat ability and artistry. Ulfbert Swords, known for their excellent quality and craftsmanship, were the pinnacle of medieval armament. These one-handed swords were expertly crafted, measuring 36 inches in length and 2 inches in width, making them suitable for close combat and slashing maneuvers. Their design and construction distinguished them from other swords of the time, demonstrating the excellent metallurgical skills used by Viking blacksmiths. 
The enigmatic inscription on each blade distinguishes Ulfbert swords from their contemporaries. The term Ulfbert is a marking that indicates the sword's provenance and distinguishes it as a high-quality weapon. The presence of this text has perplexed academics for ages, spawning several theories regarding its relevance and meaning. According to one popular explanation, the name Ulfbert may have referred to a talented blacksmith or workshop that crafted these remarkable swords. Alternatively, it has been argued that Ulfbert was a mark of authenticity, signifying that the sword met the maker's quality standards. The quantity of Ulfbert swords discovered during archaeological excavations has raised issues regarding their use and function. Number 3. Atacama Skeleton – A Puzzling Discovery Among the many puzzling ancient relics discussed in this movie, the Atacama skeleton has possibly confused archaeologists the most because of its small size. This bone specimen was initially misidentified as the mummified remains of an extraterrestrial being. Even after its terrestrial origins were proven, many uncertainties persist. The skeleton was discovered in Chile's Atacama Desert and stands only six inches tall, having no similarity to any traditional human skeleton or mummy. Its unique appearance generated worldwide curiosity, with some believing it could be evidence of extraterrestrial life. However, after five years of extensive genomic study, experts concluded that the bones belonged to a female person. However, the issue of her tiny height remains unsolved. Why was the woman so small? This subject continues to perplex researchers as they wrestle with the elusive solution. Several explanations have been presented, ranging from genetic anomalies to environmental influences, but none provide a conclusive explanation. Number 2. Leonardo da Vinci's Military Tank In the annals of military history, Leonardo da Vinci stands out as one of the most creative brains to have ever lived. Over 500 years ago, during the upheaval of the Renaissance, da Vinci had an audacious concept that would forever change the direction of warfare. Under the patronage of Ludovico Sforza, Duke of Milan, da Vinci began designing what would become known as the first concept of a military tank, a groundbreaking creation inspired by the shape and function of a turtle shell, Da Vinci's military vessel, which resembles a modern tank, signified a paradigm change in military strategy and technology. The armored cover, made of a strengthened hardwood frame reinforced with metal plating, offered unprecedented protection against hostile fire. The tank was meant to be driven by a crew of four men who maneuvered its massive bulk across the battlefield with astonishing agility and precision. At the heart of Da Vinci's design was a strong arsenal of cannons, precisely positioned around the tank to unleash devastating firepower on enemy forces from all sides. This novel configuration gave the tank an impressive offensive capacity, allowing it to devastate opposing troops with unprecedented efficiency and effectiveness. Despite its breakthrough design and revolutionary potential, da Vinci's military vessel remained a conceptual masterpiece that was never completed during his lifetime. The technological limits of the Renaissance period, combined with logistical difficulties and political upheaval, hampered the actual implementation of his idealistic design. Number 1. Dendrolite, Ancient Egyptian Mystery The ancient Egyptians were a great culture, distinguished by their extensive knowledge, clever innovations, and astonishing technological accomplishments. Among the advanced technology discovered from the sands of time, the dendrolite is a compelling riddle. Despite Thomas Edison's reported development of the modern light bulb in 1879, Remnants of an earlier incarnation are purportedly discovered in ancient Egypt. Archaeologists discovered a picture deep beneath the sanctum of the Egyptian goddess Hathor's temple that piqued their interest, a possible predecessor to the modern light bulb. This visual artifact, known as the Dendra light, depicts an object that looks surprisingly similar to a curved tube. At one end, it has a lotus-shaped socket, behind which a cable-like structure extends, terminating in a filament like a serpent coil. In the creative tableau, a human holds up this enigmatic object, aiming its dazzling gaze skyward as if carrying a torch. This tableau has sparked a heated debate among scholars and scientists. Some fervent supporters argue that the Dendra light represents an ancient form of electrical illumination that predates Edison's achievement by millennia. Nonetheless, skepticism lingers, with others claiming that the image represents something quite different, given that the concept of harnessing electricity had not yet dawned on humans at the time. The Dendra light is a tribute to ancient Egypt's continual appeal, a culture whose mysteries are still being revealed through the rigorous investigation of modern inquiry. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.